everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here my name is Lily and in today's video we are going to be making a vision board and the reason that I wanted to be doing this is because the video the video <laughs> the day that this video goes live is actually my birthday and I actually love to do like a year reflection um, just to see how the year's gone all of that kind of stuff now I actually already have like a vision board and goal sort of board that I will insert like a picture of here while I'm talking um, but I basically actually wanted to do this video because vision boards for me are really really powerful when done correctly and I know that there's a lot of people out there that may not necessarily know how to do it or might be making vision boards but not in the correct way so it's not actually doing what it should be doing and therefore you're not actually getting the effect of it. I have, as I said, I have my sort of end goal vision board but I really wanted to create a year plan vision board and the reason that I wanted to do this is because they're more attainable goals, they're something that I'm thriving for at the moment. A year's sort of plan and goal is a lot more achievable than like the five, ten, 20 year goal, whatever you want to do, I don't know. But um, when it's your big, big goal, sometimes it seems like it's virtually impossible because it's the little things that you do every day that get you there. So if you're really, really focused on your end, end, big goal, sometimes it just, oh wow, can you see the, you can see the shadow of the camera. Anyway, <laughs> sometimes it can just come across like it's virtually impossible and it doesn't actually make you take action, which is what you want your vision board to do. You want your vision board to remind you of your goal, to remind you of what you're going towards, to keep you focused and to make you take action. Because like in the last video on Sunday, which I will link up here with personal development, you need to take action in order for you to ever get anywhere. Having a vision board and creating all these things is so good, but if you're not taking action, you're just a daydreamer basically, which is nice. Maybe you just wanna have those pictures and images to daydream and just make you feel good in the, in the present when you're feeling a bit shitty. Or you can use it to actually manifest the life you want. So, top tips if you've never created a vision board. Number one, have a five year plan. What is your five year plan? What do you want to achieve in five years? Number two, what is it this year that you want to achieve that's gonna get you to that five year goal this year? Number two. Number three, I usually recommend that you set like two main goals maximum because you really wanna focus in your time. Unless you're someone that's really, really good at like juggling everything, set as many as you want. But for me personally, I find Two is manageable alongside everything else that I need to do in life in general. Two goals to work on is manageable, like I can do that. Number four is you then wanna get images revolved around these goals and you wanna make them as personal as possible. Like make them so that it's like you get it, you understand it, it's something that's personal to you, it means something to you and it's like, yeah, perfect. So for example, one of my goals is that in a year I would like to hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I've made sure to get like a basically big picture that revolves around that so that I know that's my main goal. You, you then want to basically collect the images that represent your goals. So you want your two main goals as the biggest pictures on your vision board because that's like the big, big goal. And then I'd say you get images that will reflect the lifestyle, the skills, the things that you will get slash, you know, achieve and accomplish when accomplishing those goals. Number five is obviously to print out those images and to get a board that's like gonna be big enough and to place that board where you're gonna see it every single day. With that being said, let's get into the board making part of the video. Okay, so obviously the first step is to cut all your images out. I've placed the two main goals, which are the largest images, in the centre of the board. And then I've just placed all of the other images, juxtapositioning them around the two main goals, just so that they kind of sit nicely together, but also make sense. I've personally given them space between each image, just so that it's a bit clearer. I can focus on each individual picture. It's not too distracting or clustered together and too busy. And then once you're happy with the positioning of it, it really is as simple as just sticking them down together. I obviously would advise that you make sure that it makes sense to you. It's something that you can look at and it's not too busy or distracting, which is why I don't have too many 
too many images on my board. And that's literally it. Okay, I've already actually filmed this part once before, but I just found that I rambled on too much, so I deleted it in order to make it again, film it again, and not ramble. So, now that we've done our vision board, this is what it should look like. Da -da -da -da. So, I've got my year one here that I've just done in this video with you guys, and I've also got my end goal vision board here, which I showed you a little sneak peek earlier in the video. I'm gonna brief, I'm gonna quickly talk about this one. So this one, there's quite a lot of images, it's very much end goal based, so there's a few houses, I want to have multiple properties, um, there's, you know, people partying on a little yacht boat thing, I don't know. Girls on holiday, I want to go on girls trips, like holding events, all of this kind of stuff is my end end goal. If I literally had this to visualise and look at every single day, it would almost seem like I was at the bottom of a mountain and looking right up and I could barely see the peak. It's just not achievable. It's the end end goal, but it's almost too much to bite off to try and get me motivated for the now. So. I like to use this as just like a little reminder and something to be like, that's the life I want. And then on this side here, I have my monthly gratitude. And then I always also have like a little goal section, which I haven't even filled out for November because I left that in my diary, my notebook, sorry, not my, I didn't write it on here. But um, at the end of each month, I like to just write something that I'm really grateful for that month. So that at the end of the year, I can look back on that. I will create a whole video on that in December, I think, when I'm creating a new um, board, because if you can notice at the top of each month is a little tarot card, because I did a yearly reading last in the beginning of last year, which surprisingly, this is again going off topic, but surprisingly was really, really accurate. So I do want to do that again. So that'll be a future video. So this is kind of like my end goal vision board, which I just have literally just on the wall just there. But I wanted to create this year vision board with uh, you guys on YouTube here because this is something that should be more attainable. This is something that if you break down what you need to do, you know, because a year is, a year goes by so, so quickly. So if you break down, okay, for me to achieve these goals, what do I need to hit every month, basically? What do I need to, what do I need to hit every month? Or what do I need to hit, what do I need to do to achieve these goals? So for example, one of mine is become a regional vice president within Arbonne. That is the company that I have my business with. So I know, what I need to do to promote to that level, I know what I need to do. So it's basically like having that and then working back. Okay, so I know I need to do this. This is how I do it. So what do I need to do monthly to do that? And then you have your monthly goals or what do I need to do in six months to have done that? And, in the, and then go down to monthly and then it's weekly and then it's daily. So this is what I need to do daily. And if I do this daily, it will amount to the weekly, which will amount to the monthly, which will amount to the year goal, basically. So these are attainable things. I then have my two goals as big pictures, RVP, Regional Vice President, and 1000 subscribers on YouTube. Those are my big, big goals. And then I basically have just images that represent things in my life that I'm focusing on to get to those points or that I will achieve when I get to those points, if that makes sense. Kai and I are saving for a house. The plan, we should be having that by the summer next year. So I've got a little, our first home. Me working towards this and when I hit these, this means that I will be able to work for myself, which means that we can get another puppy. So we're looking to get a Mastiff. So I've got a little Mastiff there. There's little Pablo. That's already our doggo. We want to get another one. And I'll be able to do that when I'm working full time for myself and I will be home to be able to actually manage that. <laughs> then when you become a regional vice president, I want to get the white Mercedes. Boom, I've got the G wagon. That's what I want to get. Bang, on there. This year I'm really, really focusing on my health and well-being. So I've got it. I pledge to put my health and wellness first. No excuses. One of my goals is to get really, really good with yoga to the point that I can do headstands. I can't do headstands for shit, but I'm working on it. It's on my goal. Meditation. I do a miracle morning. I implement this every morning because it makes me feel good. This is a reminder. Then I have little milestones on the side. So my, I've pledged that I want to help 100 people with my business. I want to help 100 people. And then I've also got my subscribers. So each milestone for my subscribers, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 1,000. Got it all here so that I can tick it off or even if I wanted to add the dates so that I can reminisce when I have this back. So then I've just added a couple of like little quote things just to keep that basically mean something. Every image means something to me. It's literally what I'm working towards. 
Do what makes you feel alive. This is part of my why. The reason I want to do this, the reason I want to work for myself, the reason I don't want to t be tied to a particular zone, the reason I want to have that freedom to be able to travel wherever I want and take my work with me is because it makes me feel alive. I don't feel alive when I'm tied down. I'm a true Sagittarius in that sense. And then I've also got, you know, your greatness is not what you have, it's what you give. To remind me to always give back, to always give value to people. That's that's what I truly love and, and how I want to build my community. And then I have crushing goals, because that's what I'm doing. Positive mind, strong body, beautiful skin. That is a whole motto within Arbonne. It is the whole motto that I'm living my life now, but beautiful soul kind of thing. That holistic approach, a balanced lifestyle. It's not just one thing, it's everything. Look at everything and just lead a happy balanced life and then I've got a picture of the Maldives because I have said when I hit those bad boys the treat is that I'm going to the Maldives <laughs> I've always wanted to go it looks really really cool it looks like the absolute place to be to relax so it's on the vision board because that's where I want to go so these all represent something that makes sense and that's going to be something that I can push for in the year this is achievable I can totally do this if I commit to what I need to do every single day for a year, that's in the bag, I've got it. So make your vision board that exact thing. What is your goal in the next year? What do you wanna look back at this time, 2021? So 20, well this goes live on my birthday, 25th of November, hey! So on the 25th of November, 2021, what do you wanna look back on and say, yep, I achieved that. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to look back on my birthday next year, 2021, I am going to be working for myself, no longer in retail, I'm going to be a regional vice president, I'm going to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to be living my best life. I'm going to have my own home, I'll be in my own home. I know I will because my belief is there. If you checked out my limiting self-beliefs video, I'll link that too. Um, and I do the personal development. That's another video. <laughs> and I do the work. I'm doing the work. I'm doing the action. I'm taking action. I'm doing it every single day. Some people might watch this video and think, oh my God, every day? Like you don't even have a break? No, I don't have a break. I do it every day. And it doesn't have to mean, like, when I say I do it every day, it doesn't mean like, all day every day it just means that every single day i am working towards my goal every day i'm doing at least my non-negotiable i'm doing my non-negotiables which is like you know at least that at le every single day without fail i will do my non-negotiables anything extra is a bonus but at least as long as i'm doing my non-negotiables every single day that will be achieved so i hope to god that this video has made sense and i hope that it kind of helped you understand how to actually make a vision board that is genuinely powerful and genius because i've made so many vision boards in the past where i just kind of got a bit distracted by all the lovely beautiful images out there and then had a load of pictures on there that made no sense to me whatsoever this hopefully will make more sense because a year is like you can do that you can achieve that oh, 100% you can achieve that so make sure that those images really resonate with you and your goal and keep it simple like I said you know the tips that I've already given so make you know there's barely any, any images really on that board there's not much it's not that busy at all so I can actually look at this and understand exactly what my goal is I'll know what each image is it's a reminder and it's not going to stray me away it's not going to distract me it's not going to be like an o information overload I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it's given Given you value and I hope that you have taken something away from it and it's helped you create your vision board for your one year goal using that vision board every day look at it remind yourself of what you're doing and take action I will see you guys on Sunday with another video and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks again for joining me. Please leave a comment down below. I'd actually love to know what your year goal is because you've literally just heard what mine is. So please do tell me what yours is. We can keep each other accountable and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Thanks. Bye.